So if we dim down and down and down and down and down and down, you actually see that those light levels change and the eco drive stops at the higher level and the solo drive dim, dims much further down. And this is actually uh, the true difference in, in light perceptions uh, when you see it by the human eye. This Tech Talk, we will talk about LED dimming levels. Hey, thank you for being here today. So you're gonna explain me more about LED dimming levels. Um, well, I heard about a very high-end residential project um, with a well-known specification-grade luminaire installed where the end customer was not happy at all about the deepest dimming levels of these luminaires. Um, these luminaires were actually dimming to 1%, which is quite low, but it was not deep enough. Um, so, can you explain to me that, and is there something that I'm missing here? Yes, you are missing something, Mark. Well, thanks for the, <laughs> thanks for the question. I mean, in, in essence, it's about uh, that, uh, that we have different ways in which we can communicate about dimming levels. And yeah. the most important way that we talk about deepest dimming levels, or about dimming levels in general, is via measured light. This is actually light that is being measured by, well, by a device, by a, uh, by a light meter, if you wish. Unfortunately, the human eye has a kind of a different perception. The human eye is, a, is well, it's, it's, um, it works logarithmically, if you wish. Mm -hmm. um, and we all know that because the human eye is extremely sensitive for low light levels. Um, let me give you an example. If you, work, if you walk in the middle of the night um, in a field somewhere in nature and the moon is shining just a tiny little bit, I can still see pretty well because the human eye is designed like that, that the pupil of my eye actually increases and the tiny little bit of light that is there allows me to, well, to have a good view in, in, in essence. And this is what we call perceived light. Now, look at this graph. This graph, um, well, this is not an elderly graph, this comes from an American handbook of light in his analysis that gives the relation between measured light, and light that you actually measure via a device, versus how that light is being perceived by the human eye. And there you see pretty clearly that, well, the logarithmicness of, of, the, of the human eye. And here you see that if you have a driver that dims to 1%, like in your project, in essence, it doesn't dim lower than 10% of perception. And this is exactly what this customer was experiencing. He was experiencing that the driver that dims to 1%, in essence, doesn't dim down to 1%, but it dims to 10%. Wow, that's a big difference indeed. Thank you. Um, so, as Elderlet, we offer in our product offering, we provide Eco Drive, which dims to 1%. Yes. Uh, but we also have Solo Drive dimming to 0.1%. Yes. Um, can you show me the difference in that perceived brightness yes. between that 10% and 1% exactly. perceived? Exactly, yes. Yes, definitely I can. I mean, this 1% driver dims to 10, but the driver that dims to 0.1%, our Solo range, he dims to much lower lighting levels. And this is a demo that I have, uh, that I have standing here in front of you. Um, we have two identical LED modules here, um, which are being steered or driven by two different drivers. This is the Eco Drive that steers this LED, and we have a Solo Drive that steers that uh, LED. And if I start dimming them down, you will actually see that the perceived uh, brightness, the perceived dimming levels, are completely, completely different. So if we dim down and down and down and down and down and down, you actually see that those light levels change. And the eco drive stops at the higher level, and the solo drive dim, dims much further down. And this is actually uh, the true difference in, in light perceptions uh, when you see it by the human eye. So this is the difference between a driver that dims to 1 and a driver that dims to 0.1. The light level is actually a 10% difference in perception. Many thanks, Gay, for explaining that to me. So I will never forget anymore that 1% dimming is actually 10% perceived light output. This is exactly the message. Thank you very much. You're welcome.